Hey guys, so uh, for this stream, um, as I was mentioning last week, uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, quick one. Uh, this is going to be about just creating a console variable and uh, being able to use that in our uh, project. Uh, the one that I uh, thought of doing is uh, just uh, walking speed. Uh, this could be, you know, tweaked to something else. Um, but um, I thought it was something that's pretty easy to implement and uh, pretty simple as well. So let me show you what the outcome of this is. Uh, this is my test project here. Let's open our example level. So once you go into uh, into game mode, you can do this outside of game mode, but I, I think in game mode is a little bit uh, quicker to see the effects. So um, you know we're walking, and as you can uh, look at the grid, you know it's kind of like the normal speed that we're walking at. Uh, and now if you um, type tilde and then start typing in g underscore walking, uh, actually, hold on, so it's g underscore walking, you can just hit tab and there's our, oops, I think I went a little too far, walking speed, so right now it's at 15, so let's set it to 50 maybe just so we can definitely tell the difference. So now you can see that uh, we're quite moving a lot faster than before. So uh, this could be, you know, useful if you're doing some testings of your level or, you know, pretty much a lot of other things. Okay, so let's get into it. Uh, like I said, this is going to be pretty simple. And um, so first of all, let's um, um, go to our uh, project directory here and our solutions and fire this thing up. So for this, we're going to need to create a couple of files. And um, so um, I uh, call these uh, user settings. And um, so first of all, well, let's go to, uh, let's see, it's our stream of XAMO. There we go. So let's go to code. And I'm going to place it right here in our root level. So let's go ahead and do a new uh, text document. And this is going to be, I'm going to name this user settings. And this is going to be the C++ file. And I want to keep it like that. And then another one, another text document. And this is user settings.header file. OK. So um, once these are in place, let's go to our, um, our um, um, solution and into our CMake lists. Let's add that to the list. So I'm going to add it right here because it's at the root level. And uh, let's place it somewhere right here. So, you know, it's kind of structured so that you get the C files and then the header files. So I'm going to have user settings.c. C. And then down here, I'm going to have user settings.h. Okay, so we can save that, and now we just got to regenerate the solution so those new files are getting picked up. So in order to do that, let's go back into here. You can just right-click on your game prior project and then uh, generate solution. If you have multiple Visual Studios installed, it's going to ask which one, so I'm going to continue with the 2017 and generate solution. So now once you go back to your solution, you'll be able to reload it. And you'll notice that your new file should be right here. So once you compile it, these are going to be used in the build. OK, so let's start with the header file. So the header file is, uh, is pretty simple. Just need to include, just like all the header files, if you look at them, you got this stdfax, uh, probably not this one, but I believe. I know I remember seeing in, in a couple of them. There it is, that. So maybe it just comes through if I just use Pragma once. So let's do that. Um, if we run into any issues, it's usually we need that standard header file included. So uh, let's create a class. So this is going to be class and see user settings. So we're all going to have them all public. So our constructor user settings 
just empty, and then our destructor settings. Uh, why do you delete that thing? Okay, and that, and in here. Um, well, we're not going to use it, you know, in for our project right now, but um, you know, you might want to you know do it in the future. So this is just going to be uh, it's going to be calling a function um, to unregister our C bars. Register unregister C bars. All right. So now let's just uh, create a definitions for registering and unregistering our C bar. So those going to be voids. C bars and another void to unregister C bars. Okay, so um, and that should be a lowercase void. There we go. So you got the little green squiggly marks. Once you hover over, you can create the definition, and then the same for this one. So create definition. Okay. So we're done with the header file. That was pretty much it. Um, hopefully, I'm not running. I'm not going to run into any issues um, because of there's no standard header. So we'll see what happens when we compile. Okay. So our C++ file already has the little the, the functions here. So let's go ahead and uh, and add stuff to them. So first of all, what we need to do is this is just going to be a one line command and this is going to be a um, or actually for this one um, we're actually going to need to include a couple of other header files so we're going to need to include um, let's see cry system and then i system.h and then another one Also, cry system, and this is going to be. I'm not sure why this one's being. Uh, I think it, it's going to work both ways, but this is how I've seen it done. So, and I console.h. Okay, so first of all, uh, like I said, that one line is going to be console registration helper. There you have it. And the only thing we're going to need to do, this is going to be a float, so we're going to register a float. And let's give it a name. So I named mine G walking speed. And um, start off with a value of 15 because that's how I started off with it um, in the, the player, you know, for the movement. Then this is going to be um, a flag, and um, I've seen most of them being used as VF underscore restricted mode and a quick description and just player walking speed okay so that is pretty much it for registering it and now to unregister it let's get our pointer to the console so p console and that's going to be through our global environment. And get our, it's going to be actually just P console. All right, so once we have that, we can just call P console. You, you could have probably done it even without creating this pointer. So then we're just going to unregister our variable in our unregister C bars, of course. And in here we're just going to pass it its name. So g underscore uh, walking speed and uh, the flag uh, for this is going to be a true. Okay, so we have our uh, user setting dash C plus plus. And now we want to make use of it. Hey, uh, Oscar, no worries. Welcome. Uh, okay, so um, once we have this declared, let's actually make sure that um, it's being picked up once we 
run our game. So in order to do that, let's jump into our game plugin.c++. And uh, let's see, right somewhere. Uh, so we got the game, game plugin.c++ and the header. So I'm just going to move this here. So first of all, what we're going to want to do in our header is create a variable for our C user settings. And it's going to be a pointer to, I'm going to call it M underscore P user settings. And one thing that we need to do is let's include our header. So include, and since this is in the same uh, place places uh, the other one, we don't need to specify any paths, so we can just say directly user settings h. Okay, so uh, we have that and we have that, and now in our game plugin dot, dot c plus plus. Um, right in here, you'll notice that uh, you have a um, called when the game framework has initialized and we're ready for game logic to start. I've placed mine in here. If there's um, other better placements uh, for that, um, please let me know. Uh, for me, it seems to be working there. So, um, in here, right in our case, I'm just going to do, it's, uh, we're just going to check for that uh, to make sure that we have our pointer. So, it's going to be MP user settings. So now let's actually uh, use the, hey Lore, welcome. Uh, so now let's just use our um, constructor for this. So MP user settings equals new, and this is going to be a C user settings. So now that we have that created, let's actually just call the register CVARS. P user settings, arrow register CVARS. So now we register that uh, that console variable that we declared here. But we, are, we we need to make use of it, right? So <clears throat> since this is the walking speed, let's go into player.c++ and uh, let's look for our update movement request. I believe that's where we uh, we were setting the, the walking speed. So let's see where that is. Let's update camera. Let's update animation. Update loop direction. And almost there. Almost there. There we go. So we have our move speed that we were using throughout, depending on whether we're crouching or, or you know, I guess the move speed was used for the for the walking movement. So in here, um, what what we're going to need to do is uh, get our uh, C bar. So let's. Let's get it. So, global environment variable, arrow, p console, get cvar, cvar, there we go, and pass it in our name, and that was g underscore, let me see if I, hopefully I'm walking speed, I'm just going to copy it from here. So, walking speed, and walking speed. And out of that, we need to get the value. So there's quite a few options. This is good. Since this is a float, we need a F val. Okay, so now our move speed that we use throughout is going to be based on our um, G walking speed uh, console variable. Uh, so with that said, that should be pretty much it. Let's uh, give this thing a, a compile, a build, and uh, see what we get. All right, so build successful. Let's start our project here real quick. All right, so I haven't, uh, oh, actually, I guess for this one, I removed some of the uh, debug. Um, for my test project, I, uh, I still had some of the, the floating spheres around there. So um, right now we're moving, we're moving. And uh, let's see if we can access that G walking speed there it is so we have our thing set to 15 let's set this just like we did before to 50 and now wow this guy is really moving look at him um well 
so that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, pretty simple. Um, you can, um, you know, go all crazy and keep adding your, you know, add your CVARs um, to do, you know, various things uh, during gameplay. Um, so, uh, like I said, this uh, this was going to be a pretty short stream, and uh, yeah, we clocked it in at 15 minutes. Um, you know, kind of keep it uh, the, the little the kiss principle, keep it short and simple. <laughs> so. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, and um, we'll see you next week. Hopefully next week I'm thinking of doing uh, a little bit of um, uh, art stuff. Uh, it was a request from somebody on on, on, um, on Facebook, I believe, to uh, to do something a little bit about uh, a scene that I posted some, um, this week. So uh, we'll, we'll uh, probably go into that. Oscar, you have a nice Sunday as well. Uh, Lord, again, thank you for stopping, man, and um, take care. All right, thanks again, guys.